the way to approach this is from a criminal point of view, because that's what has happened. And until we start holding people accountable, Fauci, number one, um, you're going to see people still falling out, still getting sick. You've got more than 100 doctors here, all of whom will tell you that these shots caused uh, vaccine induced AIDS. They, they purposefully gave people AIDS, right? They knew this. The FDA, two weeks prior to their emergency use authorization license, had an internal review, an internal audit function that had the infamous page 16. They knew all of this, and yet they licensed these shots anyway. And then you have the trickery with uh, interchangeable or not, and is it a, a legally distinct thing or not? This is criminal intent. And until we address this as being that, we're stuck. We're, we're not going to get over this. So, so, let, let me challenge you there. Please. That's, that's way down the road. You got to do one Perhaps. step at a time. I mean, you got to do one step at a time. You, everything you say may be true, okay? But right now, the public views the vaccines as largely safe and effective, that vaccine injuries are rare and mild. That is the narrative. That's what the vast majority of the public accepts. So until we, get, until we get a larger percentage of the population with their eyes open to, whoa, these vaccine injuries are real. Why? You know, Wouldn't you got to uh, do that step by step. You, you can't leap to, a, a, you know, crimes against humanity. You can't leap to, you know, a Nure, a, a, another Nuremberg trial. 